All right, what's up, everybody? On deck with Cam. Today's date, June 12, 2024, and the time is 7.37. Looking up in the sky. Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. Got a moonoid right here with a chem trailer going through, crossing it. Got this big deal right here. I think it's a tail. Or, oh, my God, look at that. See? Look at that. It's my big planet toy. See that? See that rainbow? Oh, my God. That just, like, really matriculated. Let me, let me zoom in on that. And yo, yo, yo. That's the surface of my planetoid. Or that's probably the asteroid. There's an asteroid right here. I think it's a tail. This atmosphere of my planetoid. My whole planetoid is sitting right above us. There's our local sun. The cloud behind it is coming off our planetoid. The whole sky is my planetoid. I watched the whole thing just streak in this morning. This got to be the tail of it. This might be the salamander tail. There's a... Um, Either a land structure right here or an asteroid and it's dragging the tail. But our boys came through and tried to exit out. Um, I've been out for now for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. 15 minutes. I've been out for 15 minutes and a whole lot has happened. Yep. I came out at 7.15, something like that. This is my whole planet right cheer. And my rainbow disappeared, but what's there is the actual mountain showing up landscape. There's another plane going by this structure right here. Should see him passing. So this stuff is in close, man. You see the planet uh, actually dipping down below the tree line, the perimeter of it. So it's dipping down past our damn tree line. Follow my hand is down about there and it's coming back up right here. Look at that. See it? Contour, 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 contour. And it pushes out. And these are the atmospheric tails coming off of it from it crossing into our atmosphere. Like this, um, this dragon looking deal. It's gotta be a mountain or something like that. Man, it's a lot going on. Beautiful too. Again, that sun is local in our, in our firmament. And I've been on that speech for a while because all this show up in, showing up in the sky is just like literally close. And look at this guy going supersonic. This guy's going supersonic to catch up with everything that's passing close enough for him to see clearer than I can see it. Those pilots are probably so astounded right now. They're looking up at all this landmass saying incredible. This stuff is going to continue to get close. I've already had the dreams on it. So I got my camera in my truck. It's going to record, be recording this once I park my truck. I'm chilling today. I'll be doing some uh, studying and other things. Getting some rest. And I'm going to catch all this. I think, like I said, that's my asteroidal body right here. Is pushing the tail off right here or it's landscape this is definitely I think this is the landscape of where it's pushing into our atmosphere which would make sense so if this planet is pushing east where the Sun is this little mountain peak sticking up is catching the atmosphere and that's why it's banking off like that you can see the landmass let me get my hand out of the way see some landmass right here it's all banking off banking off this is the rest of the landmass in the back Look at my dragon looking anomaly. That would be an asteroid going in the other direction, pushing against this. All this right here, landmass. I can see it now. Landmass. So, landmass is breaching from where the sun, yep, the sun is hitting it. There's our sun. Now it makes sense. Sun's right here. The light of the sun is traveling across this landmass. And lighting all this up. All these are mountains that are sticking up. And there's my rainbow again. Because the sun is hitting it. Banking up off that mountain top. Ridiculously beautiful. I'm going to do a... Um, do me a panoramic and come back. 
things like. Okay, I'm back. I did two panoramics. One where I put the sun in the middle of the panoramic and another one where I put the planetoid approaching in the middle of the panoramic. Here's another chem trailer coming right here going supersonic. Let me see. There he is. He's headed towards the sun. It's going to be a busy day. You can already tell. And all this around this cloud pattern around the sun. That's where the sun is scorching. Our local sun is scorching this planetoid. Man, y'all cannot mess with me because I've been studying this so long. I've gotten it. You notice everything that gets close to the sun gets scorched. It's just like rubbing a candle up against a, a, a ball. A very big ball. Take a fire and rub it up against a, like a ball. Watch it scorch it. That's what the sun is doing to this planetoid surface. And the planetoid surface is taking up the whole damn sky. I kid you not. I'm going to go ahead and put this video out. And go from there. Because this is crazy. Again, my landscape that's being lit up by our sun. Look at the direct path. Sunlight hitting the landscape that's lit up like a probably a valley or a crest. Being lit up. And the light is just hitting in all these little areas. That's an asteroid, I think. Yeah, this right here. Where's my dragon anomaly? Oh, it's above my head now. All being lit up. Oh, see? The, now my dragon is turning into a snake looking deal. Look at that. See the mouth open to the right? Right up under the chemtrail cross up. And the tail is the body's going back this way to the left. Dope. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out. All right. Straight up. Just gonna straight up put it out. We'll be back. Poof.